everyone, George here. In the last video, we uh, finished off texturing or uh, modeling some parts, uh, UV unwrapping, and then texturing in Substance Painter, our toilet or urinal. Now we're going to jump into another object that's very similar. Uh, I think I'm going to do this sink right here. So this should be an easy one to do. Uh, I think I might even go back and grab the same um, materials that I had crafted or, or used inside of Substance Painter for the toilet and just reuse them here for this object. So let's click on it. So this is the entire sink group, it looks like. Now I just want one of these. We're going to take a quick look and just make sure that nothing is really out of the ordinary. Now I'm going to go here and turn on backface culling. Uh, and you'll notice the reason I did that was because something kind of looks fishy on the bottom of this object right here. I don't know what this is. So that looks like some sort of a plane. Is this like a water level? Was I, was I going to add water to this thing? So what's being selected? water plane. So yes, it looks like at some point I was going to consider adding a water plane. However, that's just foolish to bake it into the model at this point. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. It's just going to cause problems inside a substance painter uh, with it being there. So once again, let's just uh, try to figure this out. So let's go ahead and get started here. So it looks like I didn't set up any of the UVs for these objects. It's just kind of a giant mess. Now I am going to go through here really fast and just see if that's the case for everything or if I did this already. Nope, looks like all of them are a mess. Okay, uh, let's isolate one of these, and let's see, how about this one right here? And let's go ahead and modify our display, hide, hide unselected objects, so now we just deal with this one. Let's just do a quick review of the geometry itself, uh, look at it from a couple different angles and see whether or not anything is kind of offensive. Now I do kind of not like how this edge right here isn't uh, beveled, so I am probably going to deal with that right now, so let's bevel that edge lower that fraction a little bit and add two segments in and I am going to decrease that just ever so slightly. Okay, that's good. Now the backside on this object will never be seen. Unlike the toilet, which was kind of, uh, the urinal, excuse me, which was kind of rounded. Um, this one's not at all. So I don't, I don't really need to worry about the anything going on. Uh, we also probably want to do the same thing for the backs of these objects as well. So why don't we go ahead and see if we can't grab the faces on that side. Now, you know what? I'm not going to do that because every time I do that, it completely destroys things. So we're going to go to faces and let's go to our modeling stuff and do a angle base selection of one degree. I want to do that for both of these objects. Okay. And let's just check to see if any of these have the same problem. And I believe we do uh, this part up here and uh, is it just that part up there? Yes, so we're going to delete that out as well. I'm going to hit save, F8 a couple times, and let's keep looking here. Um, not seeing anything. Now, is this cut out here? And uh, why are these two separate tube elements? I don't think they need to be, uh, but it does look like they don't quite mesh together, so that's probably why. And yeah. All right, we're going to let that be for now. Now we can go and I think and start unwrapping everything. So why don't we go ahead and grab everything in the scene. And I think this is all going to be one texture file. So we're going to do a planer and we might as well just do it from the Y direction, uh, Z direction. Let's do Z, apply, close, save. Okay, so now everything is, is set up right. Now we just need to figure out how we're going to unwrap this entire object. Once again, for areas like the porcelain, I really don't want to cut it up so much. So I'm probably going to make the cut start here. And you know what? The more I click on this, the more I realize that I probably need to come in here and make some cuts to the geometry. Let's see, do I have everything selected? It looks like I do. So we're going to do a cut now. And can I... Can I do a UV shell selection on the bottom? Yes, I can. Let's grab the bottom, pull that out. We're gonna go to UVs, planar, come at the Y direction on just that selection. All right, and I think I'm just going to unfurl that as it is. Looks a little nasty. We can make some cuts here to help this out if we want to. Um, now we don't have a seam right down the middle, which kind of stinks, but we can just have a priority, which I'm gonna to be towards the front. 
and we'll make those cuts ourselves. So we'll do a cut there and there, and then we will do a cut, right, right click and unfold, unfold as well. And that's much better. So now we can orient that shell. Uh, it does bow out a little bit here and there, but I think for the most part, we can make this work. All right, so that's the bottom piece. Now we're gonna need this top piece to become unfurled, and that's going to probably cause some issues. So if I go ahead and leave it as one giant piece, you can see what's going on here. Um, and of course, you know, my first thoughts would be probably to try to slice this thing up somewhere here maybe, and that will cause the bottom part of it to kind of fix itself. Let me just make sure I have everything. Yes, I do. So we can do a cut there. And now if we go ahead and unfold, you can see that bottom piece is a lot better, but not really perfect. The very fact that the sink is in there um, is causing a, a tremendous amount of distortion everywhere else. So I'm really considering grabbing this central segment here, and actually maybe, maybe all of this. I don't know why, that back piece... So if you look, I've got a rounding there, but I don't have rounding here. So I guess in my brain when I did this, I thought, hey, there's no chance of the person really looking into the sink on this side. But it just kind of creates some unnatural geometry, which I'm not really liking very much. So let's grow our selection out, and I'm probably going to grow it up to there. And let's go ahead and create a shell. And instead of like what we did with the, the urinal, I'm actually going to probably... Um, make more cuts this time around and see sort of what happens. So we're going to make a cut here and here, and that should significantly help out on the back half for the distortion. And then we're also going to do a cut on this side, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Now I don't want that cut to go into there, and let's do this and undo that one. And now let's do the cut, UV shell, unfold and unfold, and that's better. Uh, we can probably from here go ahead and orient it. Still not very good, that's a bad orientation. We're gonna brighten that up a little bit. There we are. And I think I'm gonna, what if we try to optimize this a few times? There we go. So optimize is doing a pretty good job of straightening out those different parts. Now we do need to slice up, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna do optimize a couple times on this too to help straighten it out. Now we do need to cut all this stuff up and I'm trying to see if I have a good place to do that. I do not have a, a nice little cut here that I could do. Now we could go in here and introduce those. So we could come in and do multi-edge cut and do one here to there, maybe. Is that what I'm thinking about doing? Let's not do that actually, let me look. And I need to cut off the backs and the sides, don't I? So let's go to face mode. I'm gonna grab all of the face mode, please. Turn off angle. I'm still in this tool, that's why. Okay, now face mode. So if I grab all of you, or really, if I grab all of you, and all of you, and then I come in here, and I carefully, see, I need a seam right here. So where is this? So let's grab, I need to cut between these two edges. So let's hit F to frame up, and right between these two, I need to connect to that. So we're going to go to multi-cut tool and I'm going to cut to there. And we're going to do the same thing over here as well. And now I should be able to come in here and cut the front part off of this entire thing. So let's go ahead and do a cut. And this is more or less an experiment for me right now. I'm just kind of interested in seeing what ends up happening. Let's go ahead and optimize this a few times. Straighten it out a bit, and then let's orient it as well. So much better, I'm liking that. Put that over there. So now we just need to do these sides. And once again, I'm trying to figure out the best place to make these cuts. Now there's the entire back half up here. That's one thing to deal with. And then there are the entire side slots right here and here. And then of course we've got this kind of a mess of a shape right here, which really needs to be fixed. So let's go ahead and fix that really fast. And let's do the same thing on this side. Yeah, this is some messy geometry right here. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, like I'm saying, I'm not sure. Maybe we can go back to our selection constraints on angle. Do maybe a 10% or a 10 
and uh, come at it from a couple different angles here. So we can do this one, this one. I'm trying to think if I want to cut it right here and make a hard edge or if I don't want to. See, it's, it's unselecting different parts now. So we're going to turn that off and we're going to see what we can do. So if I do that side there and up to there, and I unselect that side. I just want to do this side for right now. And then we do a create UV shell, pull that off, and unfold that. And then we orient it, and then we optimize it a couple times. You know, with a little bit of luck, that should come out okay. Now I need to do the same thing on the other side, which means I need to make a cut at the one from the top over. So here, 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 and there. So now we can do a cut, grab that, unfold, unfold, and then orient, and then once again we can optimize it a few times just to try to see if we can straighten anything out a little bit. Now that's looking not very good, so let's orient again. You know what? That fixed a lot of those problems. So now we're just left with this. Let's go ahead and unfold this and just see what happens. And orient it as well. I'm just kind of interested in seeing if it does a good job. But it, no, it looks like we're probably going to need to make a cut uh, across this entire edge here. Which means I'm probably going to make, make a selection like this and separate these two pieces. So we can do that. We can do a cut, grab both now. Unfold, unfold, and that's a little bit better. Orient again, optimize a couple times just to see if that helps out, and it seemed to help the top a bit. And once you've optimized it, go ahead and orient again. So now we just have this piece right here, and I gotta say there's a lot of distortion going on with this as it is. I'm not very happy with how it looks, so why don't we go to UVs and straighten, and we'll do straighten UVs, and then after we do that, We'll try to relax it a little bit. So we'll use some optimization again. And once again, I'm really not loving this. Um, so what I am going to do instead is I'm going to grab this entire piece from the top. And I'm going to grab this front section, actually. And I'm going to do a planer in the Y direction, coming down at it. Then I'm going to grab it, unfold, unfold, and uh, orient, optimize a couple times and uh, reorient it again. I'm gonna go with it like that. Having that bottom piece attached to it is helping to keep the rest of the thing kind of in check. So there's a lot of cuts here, a lot more than I would necessarily want, but uh, you know, uh, it's not too bad. I think we can make this work. So let's go ahead and just lay it out for right now, um, getting it ready for actually being used. So we're gonna do scaling 3D, keep 3D ratios, hit apply. Now we're not going to actually want to do that at the end because the bottom piece is going to be a lot smaller than the rest of it, but at least get that set up for right now. Now we can move on to some of the other pieces and these are uh, topologically the same thing. So all you need to do one and then transfer that over. So that should make things pretty easy. So let's grab this and I'm trying to think what's the best way to handle this. And let's go to unfold, unfold on that. And that's probably done. Um, but this piece here is kind of a mess. So if we go, if we just grabbed it and did an unfold unfold, you can see that absolutely nothing just happened. Um, and part of me wonders if that's because internally there's nothing that's being, yes, there's absolutely no way for this thing to relax. So we're going to come over here and do a selection constraint of, of, uh, let's just do five degrees just in case. We're going to grab the back piece now. We're going to create a UV shell off of that move that out of the area. Now that we have something, some wiggle room, we're going to go ahead and try to unfold. And we can see that we've got some serious distortion going on, uh, especially along this top piece that's been pulled up and out to signify the top of the, uh, the heating thing. So I'm just going to grab this edge across the entire thing, and we're going to go ahead and cut that out. Now I can grab all of this, unfold, unfold both, and then that does a little bit better job of making everything kind of separated. Now, 
we can go in here and try to unfold parts of these as well, but somehow with the weird shape that we're kind of dealing with, I don't think that's going to be a great uh, idea. Now we can, if we wanted to rip off the front of this, and then we could just make part of this like a hot water thing. So I can do a cut here, do an unfold here. And now this piece is going to be fine, but I'm going to need to make a cut here most likely. And that's going to cause this entire thing to open up like a cylinder right there, see? And I think that's gonna be a little bit better for us to work with. Now I will take them all, I will try optimizing just a few times. You'll notice it's kind of straightening out a little bit. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and orient everything as well. Now that we've done that piece, we should be able to come over to the other side. So I'm gonna take this piece, go to that piece, go to mesh, uh, transfer attributes. We're going to go to topology and hit apply and you'll notice the UVs disappeared, but just to double check, you'll notice now they're the same. Now we have these UVs and these UVs, we need to do the same thing here. So we're gonna hit apply as well. And just double checking, UVs there, UVs there, we're good to go, save. Okay, so this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done. And like, I just like to, every now and then, do another layout to see how things are going. So I'm gonna do another one with those things selected. All right, and we've got plenty of space right now at the top and not a whole lot that, that'll take it up. I mean, this pipe is gonna be the worst offender of anything, uh, but this piece here and this tiny piece over here really shouldn't matter a whole lot. So I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go ahead and now, one thing I do wanna look at is if I hide the sink itself, is there, let's see. I think we're okay. We're gonna grab both of these pieces. We're gonna do UVs planar. And I'm gonna come at this from the Z axis as well. Now we're gonna make a couple cuts. So let's see here. So we got this piece here. We'll move this off to the side. Whoops, UV shell. We got this top piece and that one should just be an unfold. And that that's pretty much it. Uh, does that have a bottom side to it? Because it probably does. So let's see. No, it does not, which is great. That's actually what I want. So that's fine. Now it's this tube, this piping that we need to slice up and we're gonna slice this up. Um, we'll grab this outer perimeter piece right here and that's where we'll make our slice. So cut, UV shell, unfold from there. And then we're gonna cut out the bottom piece as well. So we can grab this entire ring right here, do a cut do a cut, unfold, unfold, and unfold this as well. Grab it all, orient, do a couple optimizations. Just see it, if it works, then we're gonna orient again. Might fix it a little bit. And that's that piece as well. So like I said, that piece is probably gonna be one of the bigger offenders in the amount of UV texture space we actually have. So let's go ahead and just see what happens here. All right, and we're doing pretty well. You can see that piece right there. That that, tech, that took up a nice little bit. Now uh, let's do this piece here, which is a little bit more of a crazy piece. We're gonna do an edge. We're gonna cut, cross that edge up to here all the way through. Now, the fact that that didn't autocomplete all the way through makes me worried that there are some vertices that are not connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a merge vertex on this. Hit apply. That's not good. So let's go here, and that, that means my scaling is way off. I'm going to hit apply now, close, save, come back in now, grab this piece right here, and it's still not completing all the way through. So once again, that's kind of worrying me. But uh, we're going to do a cut, UV shell, unfold.